Hi everyone, Angela here. Today I'm going to show you how I make these regular size scrunchies with wider elastic out of satin and stretch velour. You can find links for all the tools I use in the description below. I'm using my large quilting template and rotary blade cutter to cut out each piece 4 inches by 20 inches or about 10 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So I'm using a really nice soft satin that has just a little bit of stretch to it and I'm also using a lightweight stretch velour cord fabric. Both fabrics are really nice to use on your hair and you can also use these as bracelets or wrist warmers. What I have here is just regular elastic. It's very stretchy and soft and really easy to bend and fold. What I'm gonna be using is three quarter inch or two centimeter wide non-roll elastic. It's a lot heavier and there's these vertical ribs that prevents the elastic from rolling over. This is what's gonna give the scrunchie that nice wide look. I'm using my rotary blade to cut out eight inches of elastic for each scrunchie. To begin, match the short edges right sides together. Then fold those edges in half and cut little notches through both layers to mark the center. If you have a brand label to attach, lift the top layer and then place your label right in the center of the bottom layer. Use a 3 8 of an inch or one centimeter seam to just sew it in place. Match your short edges together again and then from that center notch, mark with a pin half an inch or 12 millimeters above and also mark half an inch or 12 millimeters below it. Using a half inch or 12 millimeter seam allowance, start with a back tack, stitch to the first pin, back tack, skip over that section, back tack and then stitch to the end, back tacking to finish. This is the opening where we pull the scrunchie through. It's important that this opening is smaller than the finish width of your scrunchie. On the other end at the halfway mark, make little notches on each side. This will help you keep your edges equal when you're sewing. Next, open up your fabric and push all of the seam allowances to the left. Your brand label on the underside should be facing towards the right. Finger press the seam allowances or press it with an iron if you need to. Flip your fabric over, bring the edges of the top layers together and then roll it so it's nice and skinny. Now bring the edges of the bottom layers together matching at the seam, again making sure that all of the seam allowances are turned to the left. With a half inch or 12 millimeter seam allowance, start stitching as far as you can, then with needle down, pull that center fabric towards you, keep it nice and skinny and out of your way so you don't stitch it. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all of your notifications. Also leave a comment below and let me know how you've been making your scrunchies. Fix up your seam when you pull it out so that it's all facing left. When you get to the start again, just overlap your stitching and back tack to finish. Now I'm going to insert one end of the elastic through the opening of my clover bodkin. By pulling it down that narrow end of the opening, it'll hold it in place. Thread it into the scrunchie and then pull the fabric down onto the bodkin and elastic. It's much easier this way. Squish all the fabric together as much as you can and then release the elastic and remove the bodkin. Overlap the elastic half an inch or 12 millimeters, keeping it nice and straight. And then we're going to stitch it all together down the center. Because it's quite thick, start your sewing from the middle of the elastic and not from the edges. This way your presser foot doesn't have to struggle to climb over the two layers of elastic. Stitch across side to side three or four times so that it's nice and strong. Flip it over to find the opening and then just grab a hold of the elastic with the fabric and pull it right side out. Tidy up the opening so that the folded side of the fabric just covers up the stitching that holds the label in place. On the back, we want to position the seam so that it runs right along the middle. And we also want to center the brand label if you have one. And then we'll just edge stitch that opening closed. Now to close this, I'm only stitching the length of the opening and not stitching to the edges of the scrunchie. This way it'll keep the scrunchie looking soft all around without any hard edges on each side. 
This is why the opening needs to be narrower than the width of the scrunchie. Make sure to back tack at the start and finish of your edge stitching. Now give it a good stretch to even out all the gathers and then rearrange the fabric in the back so that the seam runs all along in the center. To keep the fabric from twisting directly across the seam on the other side, I want to stitch through all the layers with a couple of vertical stitches to keep the fabric in place. Center your elastic and stitch through. Trim your threads well and once it's gathered you won't even notice it's there. And by having the seam centered in the back, both sides of the scrunchie look really nice when it's in your hair and when it's on your wrist. Now just for your interest, I'm sewing this second velour scrunchie using the exact same method in real time without any editing except for speeding it up. The only difference is I'm not using a brand label and I haven't cut out any notches or made any marks for the opening. From start to finish, it took me just under five minutes. Of course, I'm using an industrial machine to sew this. If you have a domestic, it'll take you a little bit longer, but I'm hoping you'll agree that this is a very nice and easy method. Make sure to check out some of my other videos on my channel, and you can also find me on Skillshare where you'll find tutorials on how to properly shorten and hem pants, and also take in the waist of jeans. The links for those are in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.